Workers are digging deep to find out what contamination may be in the soil and groundwater beneath the 100 cased reactor located on the Hanford site. The K East reactor sits just a few hundred yards away from the Columbia River. The reactor was built at the same time as the K West reactor in the early 1950s during the plutonium production era. During operations, a fuel storage basin connected to the K East reactor leaked liquid. Due to this, historical data was collected. Data show contaminants such as strontium 90 and cesium 137 might have leaked into the ground. Now, the Department of Energy and contractor CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company are drilling two boreholes next to the cased reactor to determine the extent and nature of contamination at a location so close to the Columbia River. The U.S. Department of Energy says protecting the Columbia River is one of DOE's top priorities, and this project takes an important step towards doing that. What usually takes place on a 100 by 100 foot gravel pad out in the open environment now has to happen on a 16 by 32 foot box. Randy Herman with Hanford contractor CH2M Hill is heading up this project. He and a team of experts have done extensive research and planning to make sure this potentially high hazardous job is done safely and compliantly. Safety for our workers is of the utmost importance. So we've gone through uh, numerous planning exercises with the workers, with engineering, with radiological control and health and safety to make sure that we've identified any safety hazards that we anticipate to come and put controls in place that we hope will mitigate those hazards. Workers took many steps to mitigate risks including building these shelters to protect them from rain and wind while they are drilling and pulling potentially high hazardous samples from the ground. So all of the same radiological controls, sampling controls, industrial hygiene controls at the first borehole will be applied to the second borehole after any lessons learned come out of our first job. Another strategy crews have taken to make this work safe is to start drilling at the first borehole, furthest away from where the leak occurred. Using experience gained from that less hazardous borehole will help workers when they drill the second borehole in a potentially higher hazardous area because they will drill right where the leak occurred. After they complete the boreholes, crews will take hundreds of soil and groundwater samples for analysis. This drilling project is expected to go on until September.